Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and today I'm bringing you another how-to video um, for Total War Attila. Uh, it's another mod that came out uh, about five or six days ago, I believe, and it uh, is used in the main base game of Attila. It's the Lord of the Rings Unit Skins mod. Uh, so what this uh, allows is for you to play Total War Attila, but actually use Lord of the Ring uh, characters. Which is really, really cool, because Attila, I love the graphics, it's a nice game, it's very pretty. So, uh, having the Lord of the Rings skins built on Attila is great. And because uh, Rise of Mordor is not available yet, uh, this is something good that we can, you know, kind of curb the impatience a little bit. Uh, but uh, I played a game, it was uh, really fun, so uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this as well. So uh, you need to go into your Steam folder, uh, make sure that it is the actual Steam Attila. Um, I don't know if cracked or legally downloaded versions of Attila will work. So make sure you have a paid game. And then what you need to do is go down to the Steam Workshop and hit Browse the Workshop. And then I just typed in uh, LOTR Skins, and I believe it popped up, or... LOTR units. What did I type in? There it is. So L LOTR units pack. So that's the one. So click on that. And then it's fairly uh, easy to install. Uh, so first thing you want to do is subscribe to the base pack. And then if you look, there are directions on how to install it, but I'm going to walk you through that right now. So the first thing after we install the base pack is we need to download this um, extra file here. So this is the actual skins pack. Oh, I'm getting some Facebook notifications. Uh, so right here you can see the two that are available. Uh, this one, uh, you guys can test out for yourselves, but uh, there are two packs, but this one's only like 600 kilobytes, so I think it's just like a picture. Uh, this is the main file that you want. So you can go ahead and hit download. And uh, you can see the file size is 191 megabytes. So it's downloading there, la la la, so I don't need to download that. But uh, next what I'm going to do is go into my, whoops, goodness, my downloads folder right here. And then you can see it right here. So here's the, oh yeah, right, like I'm ever going to buy a full copy of WinRare. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here it is. Uh, this is the main pack right here, this little uh, piece of paper. So what I kind of like to do, since we don't need that anymore, is just extract it right to your desktop. I find uh, that, you know, putting it in a specified folder, there is the chance that you're going to lose it. Uh, so take a quick note of the file size. Make sure that it looks exactly the same as this. And then what I'm going to do is right-click and do extract to a specified folder. And then if you just double-click on your desktop, that'll put it right onto the desktop. So once we hit OK, you can see that the little folder or file is loading right here. But uh, I don't need that because I've already done it. So once that's finished, uh, you need to go into your uh, local C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Total War Attila, and Data. And you can see the two packs are right here. So we got the LOTR Units Pack Base. So this is the sub Subscribe Base Pack. And then this is the LOTR Units Pack Models Pack. So this is the one that we downloaded from the Google Drive uh, link. Uh, so again, uh, see, make sure that yours at least have this amount. Obviously, if you guys watch this a couple months down the road, your file sizes will probably be bigger because there will be updates. Uh, but it should be at least this. If this is like 374 or something like that, it downloaded incorrectly. So uh, redo it. Okay, but once you got those two, then we can load Total War Attila. You can see I've got the launcher up here, so look at the mod manager. And then make sure you uh, enable out-of-date mods, because you can see, like, this one here. Here's the LOTR units pack models, so that's the the one that we need to select. And look, I can't even select it. So you got to make sure you enable out-of-date mods, and then you can you can select it. So that's the first one, and then we need the base pack as well. And it's sitting right over here. Okay, so once we got those two selected, you can hit play. And we'll load it up and uh, we'll just start a battle so that you guys can see that all the skins are there, that none of the units are invisible, and stuff like that. Uh, make sure to read on the Steam page because uh, if you scroll down quite a bit, there's a list of bugs that uh, 
the mod maker has found. Um, so be sure to check that out if you're having some issues with it. Um, I'll try to cover a couple of the bugs um, from what I can remember what they are, but I think there's seven or eight of them. So if you're experiencing a problem, be sure to check out the Steam website first and uh, see if it's a common known bug. If it is, then there's really not much we can do about it. You just have to wait for an update to come out to fix that. All right. So uh, right away, you guys are probably like, uh, it didn't work. But yes, it did. Don't worry. Uh, when you go into the custom battle selection here, you can see that I already have a battle list loaded up. But you can see that most of the Attila factions remain the same. Only a couple have changed. So the Eastern Roman Empire is now Gondor. And the uh, Sassanid Empire is now Harad. And the Western Roman Empire is the Elves. Okay, so you can see in the roster here, so some of the units have changed to reflect the Gondorians, uh, but some of them are still, you know, retained from the original Eastern Roman Empire roster. You can see we got Citadel Guard, uh, we got some Fountain Guard, Deadly Pikes, uh, Dismounted Swan Knights. You can see that they're very, very expensive units, but the mod creator had uh, posted something about... Uh, Gondor being like very overpowered, so that's why they're so expensive. Uh, they just bulldoze the Haradrim. So if you're gonna get, you know, five Swan Knights, you better have, you know, uh, ten Serpent dismounted Serpent Guard to be able to take them down. But I'm sure that he'll balance them later on. But yeah, you can see like t just a, a really nice diverse uh, roster, and uh, you can take a look at the Elves roster as well. Uh, not as diverse. I'm sure they'll add more units as time goes on. But uh, they look really awesome. So yeah, let's start this battle. And uh, the reason that I want to show this loading screen is because this is one of the main issues. And it actually tripped me up as well. The loading time takes forever to load. And I'm going to allow you guys to see how long it takes. Uh, just so you guys don't panic when you're trying to load your own battles. first time I loaded up for one of these battles, I thought that the mod wasn't working, and I actually uh, exited the game and, and went back in, but this is a known issue. Uh, sometimes can take up to five minutes for your game to load, so don't worry. Just be patient. Uh, I also do have three monitors, and I don't know if you guys, uh, you can let me know in the comments if you experience the same issues, but I run Attila in windowed mode so that I can, you know, do stuff on other monitors while I'm waiting for Attila to load. If you move to another monitor and select something, Attila will crash. So don't, if you have more than one monitor, don't select anywhere else. Just stay on the Attila screen and let it let it do its thing, because otherwise it's just a nightmare. Then you got to go into Task Manager and, and end Attila task and go back in. It just sucks. But uh, you think that it crashes. Like, <laughs> every once in a while, I'm like, oh, can I move them out? Yep, okay, we're still good. But uh, the loading bar just sits on this little speck here for so long. Still loading. Yeah, hopefully you guys are finding these tutorial videos useful. Uh, I'm getting a lot of feedback on my Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD uh, one with a lot of issues. I'm by far not an expert in installing mods, but uh, I do try to help you guys when I can. So if you have any issues with this mod, uh, feel free to shoot me a comment. Uh, I, I'm pretty fast at responding. So yeah, look at that time frame. Like that took forever, right? Like I would have, I like I said, I actually did exit out the game a couple of times just because I thought that it wasn't working. But check it out. Look at the rangers. They look awesome. The unit modeling is is great. They did an excellent job here. Like, uh, take a look at uh, what do we got here? Some Citadel Guard. Like, look at this guy. Just looks glorious. Very, very nice modeling. Uh, what else can we show? We got the standard Gondor infantry there as well. 
Got the uh, fountain guard. Nice pikes. Look at the purple capes on these guys, too. So nice. Now we can... Uh, I'll just start the battle real quick just to kind of show you guys the elf, elven units. There they are. I, I think the elf modeling has to be my favorite of the three factions so far. Like, look at that. Look at the, the gold and blue. Like, that just looks... Awesome, and these swords. Look at these two-handed swords. It's like the birdie shacksman of, of Third Age. <laughs> so nice. And then they got the cav, too, with the uh, classic elven shields. Excellent modeling. Way to go. Uh, whoever... I can't remember the name of the guy that created this mod, but uh, well done. You, you did... Uh, really nice with this mod. I, I just want to see a volley or two. Nice. Elven archers uh, OP. That's for sure. Anyways, guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you found this informative. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorial videos. And if you guys have a mod that you want uh, me to maybe make a video on, maybe one that I haven't heard of before, I'll definitely take a stab at it for you. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.